everyone's trying to be uh, simplify the strategy and make the operation easier, and everyone's com complaining about complexity. Let's talk about leaner company. Like, yeah. how do you start building a leaner company than the typical competitor? Yeah, you know, I'd say one of the uh, best ways or the uh, kind of best tools to use in most of these companies when we're trying to figure out how to both sort of drive efficiency, but also turnover time or kind of cycle time, um, is something called value stream mapping. So the, the basic concept is you want to look at the different stages or the different steps that a project or a system or a product goes through. And you really sort of want to looking at what is the sort of value add time and what is the wait time in the process. And so like I worked with a, um, uh, it was actually the same engineering company and we we're looking at what it took to get a certain amount of drawings out. I think it was like 27 days uh, is what they went from start to end. And we, we looked at, okay, what's the actual work that goes in the drawing? How long does it wait? How, how many times does it shift back and forth between the departments? Once you start mapping that out and you start looking for opportunities to remove waste, right? So unnecessary changes, unnecessary handoffs, unnecessary waiting, like you start finding ways of shrinking this down. I think we got it down to seven days. And the, the ability to not only remove waste from the system, but the competitive advantage for that company being able to say like, you know, most, most groups are going to take a couple of weeks to get this done. We can actually get it to you in seven days was a game changer, right? So this starts to become really, how do I focus on customer need and customer value? What, what customers define as value, not what I define as value. We start focusing on that and you can start really changing a lot of what you're doing. So I've never heard of the term value stream mapping, and I just went in and did some research, and I was seeing some some uh, images about it. It's oh yeah, you can get really what, complicated. <laughs> it gets really complicated, by the way. Yes, but it, it's all about. So I studied industrial engineering as yeah. a, a in college, and that's everything we did, but just in the factory. Yeah, we don't take it to any other project mapping or anything, and mm -hmm. this is doing that with other areas of the business. Yeah, um, and I studied industrial engineering how the Japanese did just in time and cameras and all oh, these yeah. kind of things. And now you're bringing that to every, every, every other discipline in the business. That's brilliant exactly. Um, exactly. on delivery. And yes, just uptime and wait time and all that within the, how many people and all that, that's very cool. Uh -huh. All right. Um, so 